A Silver Spring man faces charges tonight after crashing his car into a police cruiser this weekend. WJZ's live Pat Warren reports the accident opens a painful wound for the Montgomery County police community. Pat? That's right, Mary. Police say the driver was drunk and, if found guilty, could be among the first to feel the effects of Noah's Law. The chalk marks the scene. A Montgomery County officer answers an accident call and is about to get out of his car when his cruiser is rear ended by a 95 Mercedes S500. It turns out to be a DUI. Police say the driver is a 65 year old man, a resident of Silver Spring, who consented to a breath test and blew a 0.17. The legal limit is .08. It calls to mind the 2015 death of Montgomery County Officer Noah Leada, who was on duty at a drunk driving checkpoint when he was hit and killed by a drunk driver. It may be among the first applications of Noah's law named in his honor. We now have the toughest interlock uh, ignition um, laws in the entire country and it is going to save lives. Through the tireless efforts of his father, Rich, and dedicated supporters, Noah's Law took effect in Maryland in October, as part of Maryland 97 was also named in his honor last year. A simple thing that we all need to do, we need to think like community, think it through, and so we all take a safe and sober ride home. Drunk drivers won't be able to drive anymore if they're drunk. Um, it's gonna, there's, we have so many repeat offenders, um, and it's a terrible problem we haven't found a solution to, but I think this is going to help quite a bit. Fortunately, the officer in Saturday's accident was not seriously injured. He's identified as Officer Matthew Runkles, and he was taken to a hospital where he was treated and released. I'm Pat Warren reporting live. Now back to you. That's the good news, Pat. Thank you. The driver, Morris Moody, is charged with driving under the influence and additional traffic offenses.